Alina Rabakina versus Annalena Kalanina is a final for the Rome Open for 2023. And both players have surprised to get to this stage. Kalanina started the tournament off as the 30th seed, and we get a bye in the first round. In the second round, she take on Blinkova. So no problem for Kalanina, getting through in straight sets. 6-2, 6-2. In the third round, she take on Sofia Kennan, who had just demolished the number two seed Sabalenka in the previous round. There's no problem for Kalanina, getting through in straight sets. 6-4, 6-2. In the fourth round, she take on Madison Keys, who had been given a walkover victory against Azarenka in the previous round. And after dropping the first set, Kalanita would fight back, getting through in three, two, six, six, two, six, four, to advance to the quarterfinals. In the quarterfinals, Kalanita would take on the number 12 seed, Hadaj Maya, who she'd played three times previously. And this match was brutal. After losing the first set, she'd have to come back to win in a three hour and 45 minute match, six, seven, seven, six, six, three, to advance to the semifinals. In the semifinals, Kalanita would take on the number 11 seed, Kudamatova, who was starting to get in some form on the clay. But after a long first couple of sets, Kalanita will get through in three, seven, five, five, seven, six, two, to advance to the final. Back in the start of the tournament off as a number seven seed, and we'll get a bye in the first round. In the second round, she take on Paolini, and after a close first set, we'll get through in straight, seven, six, six, one. In the third round, she take on Kalinskaya, who had taken her out in Madrid only a couple of weeks ago. But unfortunately, Kalinskaya got injured and was unable to finish the match. We're back in a leading four, three, retirement. In the fourth round, she take on Von Drusova, who had taken out Zachary in the previous round. And this was so far, we're back in his best performance, getting through in straights, 6-3, 6-3, to get to the quarterfinals. In the quarterfinals, Rabakina would take on the number one Siege Fiontech, who she had beaten twice already this year. But this was their first clay court meeting, and after splitting the first two sets, Fiontech unfortunately got injured and would have to retire in the third, with Rabakina winning 2-6, 7-6, 2 all retirement. In the semifinals, Rabakina would take on the number 20 seed Ostapenko, who had been beating up players all week. But in a rain-affected match, it was Rabakina who held her cool, getting through in straights, 6-2-6-4 to advance to the final. These two have only played the one time before. That was actually last year on a clay court in Charleston. And surprisingly enough, Kalanina got the win. So she can use that confidence going into this match knowing she's already beaten this lady before. If Kalanina's going to win this one, she's going to have to get everything back and use that grit that has gotten through her last two matches. The last two matches she's played have both been three hours or more. She's going to have to use that again against Rabakina. If Rabakina's going to win this one, she needs to get that serve working. Against Fiontech, the serve wasn't working great, but against Ostapenko, it was on point and it really made a difference. So she needs to serve well and she needs to hit big ground strokes like she does usually. This is going to be such a fun match. It's great to see Rabakina doing so well on clay and really putting her hand up as a clay court French Open contender. And Kalanina, very big surprise here, but I think it's going to be Rabakina getting through and winning the trophy in three sets. I think Kalanina can maybe win the first set, sneak it out, but I think it's going to be Rabakina winning another big trophy this year, but let me know down in the comments below who needs to win this one.